Hi everybody, it's Sandy. Welcome to my channel. For all of my new subscribers, which are quite a few, um, I'm I'm pushing that 800 pretty pretty fast. I'm I'm really shocked. So uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Don't forget to do all the funny things, you know, like share, subscribe, notification, and all that. If you like my channel, which I hope hopefully you do. <laughs> Um, I, I'm coming on now because my lighting right now is just a hot, ow, hot mess. Uh, the light's coming in here really bright and it's just going to get brighter. So I want to do this now sooner than later, because if I do it later, I will totally forget everything that I want to talk to you guys about. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, I'm doing much better. Thank you so much for all your well wishes and prayers. Uh, it really did help. I, um, I'm moving around quite a bit better now. Thank goodness, because we're going to be setting up for the craft fair tonight. And tomorrow is the really the first craft fair of the season. And then from this week on, each weekend, we're going to be having a craft fair until my surgery. Yay. So. Um, so, uh, whew, lost my train of thought. Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie <laughs> called me out. <laughs> she tagged me in this 20 questions tag that is going around. So <laughs> I guess I'm going to be doing that today. <laughs> um, also, if I don't do this, I'm going to be in big trouble because um, Laura from Mad Mimi's has been bugging me ever since I showed this yarn to show what I made with it. Because I said I made a hat and cowl set and she's going where is it where is it where is it <laughs> so, I'm like okay I'll do it <laughs> I give up <laughs> so anyways here is the yarn that I used it's yarn um, ice yarn and it is called magic light I was really excited when I got this yarn because of the color. There's a yellow one as well that's just, oh, unbelievable. It's 100% acrylic and it is, hmm, there's 100 grams in a ball, 360 meters. And they say it is a light three, which I agree. Um, there's only one thing I don't like about this yarn. It's, it sticks. It's like, it feels like a really dry cotton, <laughs> you know? So when it's going through your hands, if you have rough hands or anything like me, again, this almost feels like those dishcloths that, that I can't touch. I, I don't remember what they're called, but they're like dusty, dust, dusting cloths that they have that weird, weird texture to them. That's kind of what this feels like. <clears throat> so, um, I'm sure that a lot of people have no problems with this, but for me personally, I'm really disappointed that I can't handle working with it. So, yeah, I got another pack of it in a different color, too. This light is, like, really bugging me. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, okay, so, Laura, here we go. I made a cowl. And I don't even remember what stitch I used. Oh, I think it was a a V stitch. Yeah, I did a did it in a V stitch, and I like it. It turned out really nice. But um, like I said, you know, I'm sure that once it's washed, maybe maybe it'll be different once it's washed. And here is the hat. I just did. Uh, this is my own pattern. Uh, which is not up on my Etsy yet. 
I've been getting questions um, saying that hat that you showed on your video where's the pattern what's it called the patterns that I've been showing as of late are not up on my Etsy yet I have not done the pattern um, it's my own design I should be saying that it's my own design not my own pattern because I haven't written the patterns yet <laughs> so there you go okay so there you go Laura okay yeah so anyways um, yeah I, I probably won't be buying that yarn again unfortunately so hey I forgot what's in my cup today it's Zevia I think I was telling you about this before it is a no calorie no calorie no fat no sodium no carbohydrates no sugars no proteins no nothing it's uh, it's really good for people on keto or that's trying to do their keto <laughs> um, so anyway um, this is the ginger root beer mm. it's really good it has a whole bunch of different flavors I get mine at Thrifty Foods. I don't know if they have that down in the States. Probably not. So, yeah. Okay. Next item. And I can show this because I know my sister doesn't watch my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. um, I used the I Love This Yarn in the Stone Wash. This is the yarn that... Lisa, I think it was, gave me a while back. She gave me the blue and the, well, this one's called denim. And the other one is berry. I just finished this last night. I made this for my sister for Christmas. And it's a cowl, a long cowl that you can double. So this is a new stitch that I just found uh, found out and I was really really excited about this is called the feather stitch and I'm sure it's been around forever and everybody knows about it but it's brand new to me and it's oh yeah sun's going behind the cloud um, the only thing about this stitch is it is a yarn eater. It is really a yarn eater. And, uh, it takes for, I mean, I used a, a six crochet hook, my brand new furls hook. Oh, I know why the lighting is so screwed up. I don't have my light on. Okay. That probably doesn't help at all, but hey, <laughs> anyway, um, I used a size six hook with this, my brand new furls, oh my goodness. And of course, I didn't bring that in either. Um, oh, it's the Streamline Furls. And I absolutely love it. I love it so much. I got George to buy me another one in a size eight as a Christmas present. So I can't wait to get that because then I really want to try this stitch again with a uh, chunkier type of yarn and hopefully the project will go a lot faster. It took me a couple of days to do this. Can you believe that? Like, oh my god. Anyways, so this is all I have left of the two balls after doing that. So. I was going to make her a hat to go with it, but number one, I couldn't find a tutorial anywhere that has this stitch in a hat so I may have to try and design one so but anyways my sister doesn't wear hats so it would have been useless anyway but I will try and make a hat with that stitch because I absolutely love it and you know I hate doing a bobble stitch a um, 
<clears throat> puff stitch and anything where you have to put the yarn through a whole bunch of um, hoops I hate it because my hooks always get caught up in it I get frustrated I just want to throw it across the room this streamline hook glided like just n like nothing because with this stitch you have to put your hook through seven loops I was panicked I thought I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do this that hook made all the difference I was amazed and being a wood hook I thought it was gonna catch or it was something mm -mm. they have polished this thing right down to an art and it just went and I that was it and I was like I can do a puff stitch now <laughs> so, so I was pretty excited about that so I may have to get a few more sizes just saying okay um, also I got in the mail, I had put an order in with Billy, the Crafty Floridian, we all know her. I hope, Billy, I hope you're doing okay. Um, <clears throat> I saw your video and you look like you, you were riding high there, girl. <laughs> you're having a good old time. So that's going to be me in a couple weeks. <clears throat> so, um, so I hope you're doing okay. I hope your pain is under control and I hope you recover very quickly. I have a cat. Okay. She never comes up here. Hello, Bella. You want to say hi? Say hi. Hello. She's not feeling very good. Oh, I've got a bag on your chair. That's why. Um, she's not feeling very good. She, her hair has been kind of falling out lately and she has been licking herself. So she actually threw up a hairball for the first time ever freaked her right out <laughs> so anyway um, yeah so anyways I I ordered a couple of bowl cozies from um, Billy and they came yesterday I did this for my surgeon hoping that if I give her a little gift basket then maybe she'll be kind of nice on me <laughs> when I get my surgery method for my madness so I was really shocked and surprised and happy that sh that Billy showed this material because it was perfect so here's the first one isn't that adorable I'm oh, well hello excuse me what are you doing oh, say hi <laughs> oh, oh when so now you're gonna just sit here like this you know <sighs> so anyways this I love 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 this material it is so stinking cute and then she put the red on the inside and then this one has the stethoscope and the blood pressure um, cuff and it's just oh I just love this material and then she's got the red on the inside as well. So thank you so much, Billy. I really appreciate that. And for you to get it out so quickly before your surgery, oh, you're a godsend girl. Like you, you're wonderful. So thank you. My, I'm hoping my surgeon's gonna really like it. And this cat is really annoying me. <laughs> you never come up here. What the heck is wrong? Are you just really not feeling well? And that's, you have to be by mommy. She has been by my side, like, I mean, literally, beside me, <laughs> on my chair now for a couple of weeks. She's just, I don't know, she must know that I'm not feeling well, or that I'm hurting or something, because she's, she's my little protector, aren't you? Yes, you are. Anyways, um, before I start my questions, I'm going to get rid of my cat. <laughs> I'll take the bag off her chair and let her sit there. Okay, I'll be right back. A few minutes later. Okay. So, on to... Oh, wait. Before I do these questions... I know, I know. There's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I don't know if, if... This is for all the content creators out there. All the YouTubers. Did you guys get that uh, email message? Or that uh, see that YouTube... Um, video 
about all the changes that are going to be happening. If you haven't, I'm going to leave that link down below. It's a, yeah, it's, it's whatever. But I got an email. I've just got my laptop here. I'm going to see if I can bring this up. So I got this email um, from YouTube and it's all about the new terms of service and it says we're updating our terms of service to improve readability and transparency. Oops, sorry. Uh, this does not change the Google private privacy policy nor the way we collect and process the data. Uh, and it's got um, terms that are clearer of what you can expect. Terms that are clearer and easier to understand with the useful links to help you navigate YouTube better understanding our policies, blah, 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 blah. blah. The new terms will take effect on December 10th, 2019. I thought this wasn't supposed to happen until January, but they've already started making changes. Whenever we put up a um, YouTube video now, you have to say whether, whether or not it's um, for chi for children has child content or if it's for adults there they in this video they show a way they give I, I think they yeah they show a way to change all of your settings to its adult content or its child content um, so if you have any issues with that, let me know and I will see if I can help you because I went into my settings and I I changed everything to its adult content. Wow, she is like really on me today. What's the matter with you? Um, so anyways, the, yeah, so I, and I'm going to leave that link down below. I'm not going to waste any more time on this, but it was, I really feel sorry for people that have anything that relates to child content. As it is, our Whitey segment, or uh, Searching for Octavia segment, I may have to fight with them about that. Because that is definitely not child friendly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyways, on to my 20 questions. Okay, what does your name mean? Apparently, well... My name is derived from the word, word Alexandra, or Alexander, um, and it means, excuse me, <clears throat> it means, or is interpreted as to mean, protector of man or defender of man. That makes a lot of sense <laughs> for people that know me. Okay, where are you from? I've always been from Canada. BC Canada. I've never lived anywhere else. Uh, where were you born? That's North Vancouver, BC Canada. Uh, what would your parents have named you if you'd been a boy? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I do know that um, my grandmother used to call me Sasha all the time. And uh, when my first was born, Ashley, I actually wanted to name her Sasha May. She keeps telling me, thank you, Mom, for not calling me Ash uh, uh, Sasha May. <laughs> I was like, well, it's a pretty name. What? As it was, three Ashley Marie's were born that day. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I came home with the right kid. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay cat's moving my computer around. Uh, what is your big, biggest accomplishment? Uh, I would have to say publishing my two books is my biggest accomplishments. Um, and then the other is doing my YouTube channel. It takes a lot of guts to do this. And, you know, I'm, and I'm, um, 
I'm really surprised I did it as long as I have already. It's only been, it's going on three months, I guess. And um, it's been a trip. It really has. So, uh, yeah, I guess that would have to be it. Uh, what is your eye color? <laughs> Funny enough, <clears throat> my eye color changes all the time with my moods. Uh, for most of my life, my eyes were green. And if I was outside in the sun, they would be as green as the grass. And if I was sick, they would be dark green. And if I was angry, they would go gray. Uh, my eyes, since I've gotten older, have turned blue. I don't know how that works. But <laughs> now I have blue eyes. Weird. So, um, but they still change. They still, I still have mood eyes. Depending on what I'm wearing, uh, my eyes will change with that uh, and, and how I'm feeling. Right? You can always tell if I'm not feeling well. Uh, my eye color goes really dark. So, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it kind of messes you up if you're trying to put on makeup, too, because then you don't know what color you're supposed to be <laughs> using. <clears throat> um, what is your favorite candle scent? Um, any scent, like... Um, would have to be Nan Nanchampa and this is I, I burn incense now I don't burn candles but I have got incense uh, liquid incense that is Nanchampa so if I wanted to make candles which I have I can make them in that scent but this is Nanchampa and I get these from the Asian stores uh, you can get them in various sizes. You can even get them in those little, um, what are they called? They're little burners that you just light and they just, they're like a little incense, but they're a cone. <clears throat> um, okay. Can I cook? Yes, I can cook enough to fill the gap. Um, I am by no means a fantastic specialized cook. Uh, I don't, cook, cooking is not one of my favorite things to do. I can bake to a point, um, but the things that I do bake, I can bake really well, like cinnamon buns. Cinnamon buns and um, uh, cheesecake tarts, stuff like that. Um, but cooking, I'm not... I mean, I, I, I can cook so that we don't starve. It's basically it. Now, turkey dinner is a different thing. I, I do my turkey dinner like my mom did, old style. Right? So. Okay. What is good about your life right now? That I'm alive? Um, <clears throat> I, in 2000, yeah, in, in 2000, I ended up, no, sorry. 2000, I was in a head-on collision. Was it? No, wrong. Other way around. In the year 2000, I got a blood clot and it went into my lung and it collapsed my lung and I almost died. So, um, the year later, I was in a head-on collision. Could have died. Uh, I have had... A bunch of near misses so I have had a lot of guardians and angels around me protecting me because by all rights the you know, some of that stuff should have taken me out and I think that's why I'm so scared to get another surgery uh, I keep telling them look I'm prone to blood clots um, <clears throat> so we got to take that into consideration so um, I was scared to death to get this surgery, you know, because I don't know what what's going to happen. I'm hoping I'm going to be okay, but you always get that, <coughs> excuse me, you always get that little bit of fear, right? Because you hear horror stories and stuff, so. <laughs> yes, Missy. Okay. Um... 
Oh, another thing that is is uh, right about my life right now is both my girls are talking to me. Um, we've had an up and down relationship for their whole lives, and um, now I'm I'm I have my daughters back. Uh, so that is a blessing. I am so happy for that. Um, and the other thing is having George in my life. George has been my rock, right? Uh, <clears throat> I honestly couldn't make it without him. <clears throat> so it's, um, I, I'm so glad I met him, right? Because I was a very lost puppy after Scott passed away. And uh, I'm not lost anymore. I am found. <laughs> So, okay, uh, what is your sign? I am a Taurus. Yes. Remember that whole tattoo issue thing? Yeah. Yeah, I have a bull tattooed on my thigh. That's a whole different story right there. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah. Way back in, in my beginning videos, I talked about my tattoo. So if you're interested, go back and check those out. <laughs> we, we won't go there. Okay. Um, what scares you about aging? Dying. I have a fear of dying. Um, even though I know or in, I feel in my belief that you move on, um, I, I'm terrified of dying. Uh, I don't want to be, I don't want it to be a painful death. If I die in my sleep, I'm good with that. Um, but I don't want to, I don't want to be in a coma. I don't want to die from like um, any lung issues where I can't breathe because I'm claustrophobic and me not being able to breathe, I panic bad. So, you know, stuff like that, I, it, it scares the crap out of me so yeah what is your favorite holiday it used to be Christmas um, but then my mom passed away four days before Christmas so uh, and also my my grandmother passed away in October and it dragged us right through Christmas it just it was really hard on on us and so I dread Christmas now. I don't listen to Christmas carols. Um, I don't watch Christmas shows. Um, yeah. I have to really grin and bear it through Christmas. So, and now I'm getting this surgery just before Christmas. It's like, really? You know, so... <clears throat> It took a long time for Scott to get me to actually be able to handle Christmas. And then um, after he passed away, then it became a burden again, right? Christmas to me just reminds me of bad things. And I'm not the only one. My sister, my kids, we all... Um, have real issues around Christmas so that's not one of my favorites no um, the other would be Halloween I guess um, for whatever reason but I don't really have a favorite right like I don't know I think all the holidays have kind of been tarnished for me so I just I go through it for my family and that's the only only thing that gets me through is just doing it for my family. Um, what is your guilty pleasure? Potato chips. <coughs> Excuse me, potato chips. Holy cow. If there's something that's going to knock me off a diet quick, it's wave of Pringles in my face. <laughs> or a plain ripple chip. You know, like I... Yeah, potato chips are my thing. Whenever we went on road trips, my mom would always buy chocolate bars 
and potato chips. Yeah, so that's my guilty pleasure. Uh, what is your favorite show to binge watch? I actually don't watch a lot of TV. I'm, I'm addicted to YouTube now. So I'm constantly binge watching everybody's channel. Um, but George gets me to watch different shows. So if I'm going to binge watch anything, it's going to be all the Chicago's. Chicago PD, Chicago Med, um, uh, Chicago Fire. Those shows... I love those kind of shows. Okay, uh, what is the one thing that you can't leave home without? It it would be my cell phone. Uh, I I have to have my cell phone with me because if anything happens, I need to be able to call nine one one. So uh, I guess that's the first aid training in me, but um, yeah, I just I have to be able to call nine one one. If, if there's any issues. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Definitely a night owl. Uh, I hate mornings, but I get through them. <laughs> and then I, I crochet until, you know, one, two o'clock in the morning. Right, so. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely a night owl. I've always been that way my whole life. Uh, what is your favorite genre of movie? Horror. Oh, man. Me and my daughter. My daughter's the only one that will actually watch horror films with me. Um, psychological thrillers uh, like Split. Wow. Um, yeah, but horror films are my gig. Definitely. My, me, whenever my daughter Tia comes around, we sit there and we shut the curtains and we turn off the lights and we have our popcorn and whatever and we just binge watch horror films <laughs> so um what is the last thing that you bought i can't tell you because i'm sending out a few gifts for christmas so there's that so i can't say um you're making this really difficult pussycat <laughs> Uh, are you an introvert or an extrovert? I am definitely an introvert. Although you might not guess that by watching my videos. It's because there's nobody here. There's nobody looking at me. There's no, you know, I'm talking to a camera, but I'm talking to you guys. Right? So, um, if I was in a room with you guys, which I will be when we go to Niagara Falls in April, but, um, yeah, it's, I, I'm the wallflower, definitely, until you get me talking. Once you get me talking, then I can get right in there with everybody. Um, I'm totally the opposite of George, totally the opposite, right? So I have never been able to, like, when we sit at craft fair and we try and sell, George is the one that sells. I make the stuff, he sells it. And same with my sister. My sister could talk a blue streak. Um, so when I used to do craft fairs with her, she'd be my best billboard, right? She'd be the one talking to everybody, and I'd just be like, hi, right? <laughs> I just, I'm terrible that way, terrible. So anyway, um, what is your favorite book? Anything by John Saul, A-S-A-U-L. John Saul is the reason that I started writing. Um, I love his books. And um, yeah, I just, I love his stuff. And if it wasn't for him, I would not have become a writer. Uh, if it wasn't for my sister, I would never have published a book. So there's that. And there you have it. That is my 20 questions. So, hope you enjoyed it. Um, who am I going to tag? I am going to tag Lisa from Lisa's Crochet and Veronica from Vero's Crochet and Gifts. So, yeah. <laughs> tag! You're it!
<laughs> so thanks for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed it uh and i guess i will talk to you guys later bye you say bye say bye say bye <laughs> see you later guys bye <laughs>